There seems to be a consensus in the media among Democrats that the Republican health plan in the House will be stopped in the Senate. Oh, after all, moderate senators like Murkowski of Alaska and Portman of Ohio and Collins of Maine, oh, they'll stop it. Even McCain, John McCain, you always count on him. I wouldn't be too overconfident. Keep in mind, before Obamacare became law, or if you prefer the Affordable Care Act, 85% of Americans had health insurance. 15% did not. Of the 85% who had health insurance under the old system, 65% liked their plan. This idea that everybody is at risk or that everybody has a pre-existing condition is not true. Do the math at some point. Now, these high-risk pools are being criticized because they don't have enough money in them to cover people with pre-existing conditions. But if the Senate puts in another $180 billion or whatever the number is to cover those people and they bring in market forces for the healthy and the people with money and bring more choice in, what's John McCain going to do? Say, no, it's no good because we don't have single payer? Is Susan Collins going to say no to that or Senator Portman because it's not universal health care like they have in Australia or Great Britain? I don't think so. Mitch McConnell has a way of whipping his Republican votes. And if they satisfy the concerns and keep putting more money in and more money into the high-risk pool pot, then it's going to be hard for those Republican senators to say no. Otherwise, they would have to change parties. And the likelihood of that is slim at this point. I would be overconfident that it will be stopped. So now the question becomes, will they ever put enough money in, quote, high-risk pools to cover the people that would otherwise fall through the cracks if they lose their insurance. And that is where the challenge lies. My Two Cents, My Two Minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can read your kitchen, your basement, your bathroom, your staircase, make your home feel just like home. We'll talk about this more, and we will, tomorrow at 8 on The Mitch Hank Show on MadisonTalks.com.